do you have a prescription for Xanax? No, sir. Wait, give me a chance to... Um... Okay. That's fine. Do you have career? Do you know Raymond Asher the fourth? No. Do you know an individual entertainer by the name of Usher? Yeah, Usher. That sounds familiar. Isn't it true that Usher is Vic was instrumental in starting your career? What does that have to do with this litigation, Mr. DeCal? This is just you, you trying to harass the client. Why don't you get down to business? Your comments are inappropriate. I don't. I am so. getting down. Well, fine. But I'm getting. I am getting down to business. I'm asking questions that do pertain to this lawsuit. It sounds like and a I'm 60 trying... minutes interview. I mean, are we going to ask about the issues in the case? No. He Say, wants to make a video sir. tape so he can distribute it to the media. That's what this is all about. This is DeCal's interview. This this has this to do with the questions that involve this lawsuit. DeCalvin. Come on, please, sir. Isn't it true that Usher was very instrumental in starting the career? <laughs> the death calls for a yes or no answer, correct? However he chooses the to calls respond. calls for a yes or no Wait, I'm just going off your page, man. It's a yes or no answer required, right? I think my lawyer's asking a question. Please, sir. I think my lawyer's asking a question. I'm not here to answer his questions. You're here to answer mine. Okay. Do you need the question right back? Yeah, let's read it back. I'm pretty aware that, um, that's for the mission now. Yeah. Would you answer yes? Yes. I'm really sorry to keep asking you this, but can you please speak up? That yes and no are fucking pretty, pretty different. Let's take a break. Sure. Let's take a break. Oh, I'm sorry for letting this man get to me before I go back. Before we came back here, you would ask me. She's going to read back. Let her read back the question. Thank you for your memory. I was found on YouTube. Um, I think that I was detrimental to my own career. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you at all. I'm sitting right next to you. Okay, so that I think I was instrumental well, to my own career. Well, let me get back from the report. was, was Usher, was he helpful to your professional career? Yes. Is Usher a close friend of yours? Yes. Is Usher confident? Um, I guess, yes. Is Usher giving you career advice? Is this um, an interview or a deposition? I'm confused. Please, sir. I'm just confused whether this is an interview or a deposition. I mean, what does it matter if he's a confidant? I mean, what, I, Listen, I don't if you, understand. If you, have, if you instruct him not to answer, that's fine. If you want to make an objection, that's equally as fine. Okay. But I need you to stop talking. It's inappropriate. No, I think your questions are inappropriate. This sounds like some sort so of instruct, it, interview. So instruct him not to answer, if, okay. that, if, if that's your position. If you're going to keep going with this line of questioning, we'll just break the deposition and move for a protective order. It's harassing. We can get the, we can get the magistrate right back on the phone or the judge. Can you pro-offer how that's reasonably calculated to lead to admissible evidence? <clears throat> Yes. That's, that's not admissible evidence. Please, listen. If you want to object, fine. I'll if let you, you go if you want a to couple start. more questions, but 
Yes, sir. I, I just want to see oh. whether oh. Usher's a confidant goes to his credibility. Sir, is Usher a confidant? Usher being a confidant doesn't credit my credi credibility. You already answered that question. You already asked a part. Asked I you already said yes. Please, sir. Come on, move on. Are you instructing him not to answer? Move on. Are you instructing him not no, to answer? No, I'm not. Okay, fine, sir. I already answered. Is Usher a confidant? He already answered that question. He said yes previously. Are you just going to keep re-asking him the same he, question? He didn't, I didn't hear a yes to the confidant. She can read it back. He, he, I he asked him yes. if Usher was a friend. I, no, you I didn't. Never... You asked him if he was a confidant. He said yes. I remember you saying fine. it. Fine. That was definitely asked before that question. Was what was your answer? Please. Remind me of your answer. No. It seems like a 16-minute interview. Have you ever spoken to Usher about how your bodyguards should handle photographers? No. Is there a difference to you, sir, that there's a difference between a photographer or a paparazzi? No, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't say no. no. You refer to paparazzi as paps. I refer to paparazzi as you know, many different names. Do you sometimes refer to paparazzi as paps? Yeah. Yes. Are you aware that your bodyguards have ever gone after paps? Because they think, have you told your bodyguards to go after paps? Have you ever told your bodyguards to take care of a pap? No, sir. Okay. Let's go off the record for a second. I want to show up. Okay. We're not going off the video record. It is 9 I don't recall. Thank you. You recall where this event that we're watching in Plants 1 is occurring. Is this 60 minutes? <laughs> I don't want, I'm so confused, I'm still confused. With the On here? Is this an incident? Please, sir. Do you recall where, where this, was, uh, this footage was shot? Miami. Thank you. And, please play. hear yourself say, Dwayne, get this pap out of here? Yes. What did that mean? It just meant get the pap out of here. And which meant to me, um, you know, just, just back him up as the fans were trying to take pictures with me. Um, nothing aggressive by that. Why did you tell him that? I just told you why. Isn't it true that you knew your, photog your bodyguards were using physical force against photographers? I'm sorry, on that video? <laughs> yes, on that, on that video. Please, sir. No, sir. You know that your bodyguards chase paps sometimes to get them out of wherever you want them out of. Isn't that true, sir? I don't tell my security how to do their job. They don't tell me how to do my job. Is it true that you know that your security guards will punch, grab, and push Paps if they need to? I object. I'm sorry? How you the question again? Did you hear the question again, sir? Why don't you re-ask it? Why don't you replay it back? Sure, sir. 
No, sir. Isn't it true you know that they've done that in the past? No, sir. Isn't it true, sir, that you've seen your bodyguards chase photographers right in front of you? No, sir. Isn't it true that you've been personally involved in taking film cards from photographers? No. Okay. Let's stop. I'm going to play what's, I'm going to mark as plaintiffs too. Okay. All right. Would like to watch it first? Sure. Isn't it true that I was involved in... <sighs> Wait, hold on, there's no question. We have the record. Yes. Yes, we're off the record. Yeah. 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 I'm going off the video record. It is now 11 All right, let's do your bodyguards work for My bodyguards work for my company. What's the name of your company? Beaver Time Touring. Sorry. I need you to speak up, sir. Beaver Time Touring. Is that the United States company? Yes, sir. Okay, where is that company registered? I'm not sure where it's registered. That's done by my business manager. Okay, and what's your business manager's name? Solomon Smallwood. I need you to see Solomon, if I Solomon Smallwood. As that, that's just uncomfortable. In taking care of your security. In taking care of my security? What? What does that mean? You recall when you told me... In taking care of my security. Sir, there's no pending question. Listen to my question. Do you recall... There's no pending question. Listen to my question. Hey. Do you recall looking at Plaintiff's One, the video of you taking pictures with your family? <laughs> Mm -hmm. No? No? Great. Let's play back play this one. He Are we going to go through this again? He doesn't recall something he watched 20 Can minutes ago. Can you just ago. move forward with the question? Come I, on. I could if he just wouldn't forget things that he doesn't have to see like just 20 minutes ago. I want you to watch this again. Do you recall watching this video a few moments ago? Yes. Great. And do you recall telling me that Dwayne Patterson was securing you? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. Yes. Do you ever give instructions to Dwayne Patterson or any other bodyguard instructions on how to secure you? Yes. Please, sir, tell me how you have given your bodyguards directions on how to secure you. By how do you mean verbally and write it? I don't understand it. Well, let's get to it. Sir, do you understand the question? Yes. Could you please ask? Verb verbally? And what do you tell them verbally? Strike that. What have you told them verbally on how to secure it? What have I told my security? I, I, I didn't hear your response. I, again, sir, I'm, I'm you know, you know, I'm I didn't, fin you I didn't finish my, I didn't finish. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't want to interrupt. Please, sir, answer my question. I'm pretty sure we've been on this same question for about two hours now, so... I 
Oh, damn, I mean, this isn't really going anywhere. Do you think we should break for lunch? Sir, do you recall when I asked you earlier if you give your security verbal commands on how to secure you? Yes. Okay. And you told me that you did, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. How do you verbally command your bodyguards? Um, how do I ever, like, in what, there's so well, many what different, there's so many different scenarios, so many different contexts, and, you know, tell them various things. Okay. Well, what's something you, you, you know, help me with my bag to open the door to various things. Thank you, sir. And what about securing you as far as instructions that you give your bodyguards? Besides asking them to get your bag and open the door for you. As far as securing me? Yes, sir. Making sure my safety is okay. not at risk. Okay. And what sort of safety commands do you give your bodyguards to make sure you're not at risk? 